For a number of years, there's been speculation about the NBA possibly expanding to get 31 or 32 teams. The NBA has been sitting at 30 teams for a while, and it just feels like there needs to be a couple more. So today I'm going to break down the truth about the NBA expanding to 32 teams and what that's going to mean for the entire league. But before we get in the video, I need to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, and when we get there, there will be a $50 gift card giveaway. It'll be to either PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, or the NBA Store. So make sure you get into that giveaway by subscribing to my channel. But anyways, let's talk about what it really would mean to expand the NBA. So like I said, there's been rumblings about the NBA being expanded to 32 teams for a number of years. But the NBA has always said that they're not looking into that. That's not an option at this current time. Until just a few weeks ago, Adam Silver acknowledged that the NBA actually has been looking into that as an option and that the talks are starting to ramp up. Now, maybe this is partially due to all the happenings with the pandemic. Maybe it's they just finally realized they need a couple more teams. I'm not exactly sure why they've started talking about it more. But to me, the fact that they've started talking about it more pretty much means it's going to happen. And it's probably going to happen within the next 10 years. And I think 10 would be a stretch. Probably within the next 6 to 8 years would be my guess on when the NBA is really going to start expanding into 32 teams. But that leaves us with a question. If we're going to 32 teams, they need to add two. The logical answer is to put one in Seattle. Seattle had the Supersonics for a number of years. Everybody wants the Supersonics back. People keep on talking about Seattle, how they never should have lost their franchise. There was a whole big debacle back when it happened, when the, when the team moved from Seattle to Oklahoma City. But what about the other team? What city would be the best option to add the 32nd team to? Now, there's people wanting it in Nashville. There's people that think, oh, Kansas City could use a team. People think maybe Chicago could hold another team. They're like one of the biggest cities in America. Some people have also brought up the possibility of St. Louis having a franchise. But the logical explanation for me, the one that I think is most realistic, is Las Vegas. And people have been talking about Las Vegas getting an NBA team for a while. When you really look back and think about it, that is like the most logical city to get an NBA team outside of Seattle. First off, they just got an NHL team within the past few years. They just got a WNBA team a few years ago. And they just got their very own NFL team when the Oakland Raiders moved to Las Vegas. NBA is going to want to get in on that action. They're going to want to get in on all the money that is in Las Vegas. There's so much money in the gambling industry there that the NBA surely wants to get in on that, get a hand in that, and start making some profit. So now that we added two teams to the NBA landscape, one in Seattle and one in Las Vegas, something has to change because we currently would have 17 teams in the Western Conference. Of course, Seattle and Las Vegas would be in the Western Conference. They're very far west. They're right there next to California with all the LA teams, the Warriors, and then also the Suns, Kings, and the Blazers. They would definitely be in the Western Conference. So with 17 in the West and 15 in the East, one Western Conference team would need to make the move East. And this is where it gets tricky. Which team makes the most sense to move to the Eastern Conference? Now, the simplest argument would be to take Memphis, move them East because they are the furthest East geographically. But I could also see an argument for the New Orleans Pelicans. Some parts of Memphis are actually further West than some parts of New Orleans. So maybe the Pelicans would want to be the team that gets shipped out east. Not to mention, New Orleans actually used to be an Eastern Conference city. But what if I told you that neither of those teams makes the most sense to move to the Eastern Conference? The team that actually makes the most sense to move to the Eastern Conference is the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a Timberwolves fan and I want to see them out east. I have many reasons why the Timberwolves would make the most sense to be the newest Eastern Conference team when the NBA expands to 32 teams. The biggest argument for the Minnesota Timberwolves moving to the Eastern Conference is actually the travel that they have to do within their own division. If we take a look at this map, Minnesota is far and away the furthest team from any other Western Conference opponents. Minnesota is stuck here in Minnesota and they are so far away from Portland, Utah, Denver, and Oklahoma City. Those are the teams that are in their own division, not to mention them being even further away from Sacramento, Golden State, both LA teams, and Phoenix. Memphis, New Orleans, they are both in the same conference and they're really close to all three teams in Texas. Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio are all way closer. 
If we take a closer look at the specific numbers, the Minnesota Timberwolves' closest divisional rival is the Denver Nuggets, who are 678 miles away from Minneapolis. Now if we go ahead and look at Memphis, all four of their division rivals are closer than Minnesota's closest division rival. New Orleans, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio are all 620 miles or less away from Memphis. Same goes for New Orleans. All of their division rivals are 505 miles or less away. Portland is 1,400 miles away from Minnesota, and they are in the same division. Minnesota travels farther than any other team to play their own division rivals. So now that we decided that Minnesota makes the most sense to move to the Eastern Conference, we can't just throw them in a random division and just have three divisions in the East, three in the West, and then one of the divisions would have six while the others have five. We need to figure out what these divisions are going to look like. Who is going to join with Seattle in their new division? Who is going to join Las Vegas? And we broke that down. And I actually found this on Twitter, but this was actually the exact same map that I had come up with myself. They just have a much better looking map. So here it is. Now that there are 16 teams in each conference, it makes sense to have four divisions of four, just like the NFL has. And if we take a look in the Eastern Conference, we have the Toronto Raptors, Boston Celtics, New York Knicks, and the Brooklyn Nets in one of the divisions. Now that makes sense. Some people might say that you could switch the 76ers and Raptors and their positions because the Celtics and 76ers are big rivals. I'm totally okay with that happening. But then the other one is the Wizards, 76ers, Cavaliers, Pacers. And then down in the southeastern corner, we have Miami, Orlando, Atlanta, and Charlotte. And then in the central division, I don't know what the names are going to be called. I'm just calling this the central division, Midwestern division, whatever you want to call it. We have the Chicago Bulls, the Detroit Pistons, the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Minnesota Timberwolves. So Minnesota would join in with uh, Milwaukee, Detroit, and Chicago. And if you look at the NFL... The, the Minnesota Vikings are in a conference with the Packers, who are in the same state as the Bucks, the Lions, who are in Detroit, just like the Pistons, and the Bears, who are in the same city as the Chicago Bulls. That makes so much more sense than Minnesota having to travel all the way west to play Portland, Utah, and then south to play the Thunder, and then southwest to play the Denver Nuggets. Now, if we look over at the Western Conference, we have all three Texas teams playing in the same division, and then New Orleans, that is a very close proximity for those teams. Uh, Memphis, OKC, Denver, and Utah all join one division. It's a little bit of travel more for Memphis than what they currently have, but it's still far less than what the Timberwolves would have in their current division. And then we look in the Southwestern Conference, and we have uh, the Los Angeles Clippers and Lakers, the Phoenix Suns, and the new team in Las Vegas. That proximity works out really well. All those three, uh, or those, yeah, those three cities are really close to each other, and I think that travel would not be a problem at all. And then if we look in the furthest west one, we have the Warriors, the Kings, the Blazers, and then the Seattle SuperSonics. This map looks a lot more even, a lot more spread out. Obviously, adding a team to like Montana or Wyoming or South Dakota would really kind of spread the map out a little bit easier, but those just aren't realistic financially. So if we are adding a team in Seattle and adding a team in Las Vegas, this makes the most sense geographically for the NBA, and I think that it's a real possibility. I'm not going to claim that I know what the NBA actually is going to do if they do expand two teams. I don't even know where those two teams would go, but in my opinion, the Minnesota Timberwolves would make the most sense to move to the Eastern Conference. I totally get the argument of Memphis or New Orleans moving because they are situated further east. But when you look at Minnesota and you think that they could play teams in Wisconsin, Illinois, and Michigan rather than teams in Oregon, Colorado, and Utah, and Oklahoma, it just makes a lot more sense for Minnesota to be situated in the Eastern Conference. But at the end of the day, the NBA has to announce that they are expanding. They have to announce where those two expansion teams are going to go. And then they'll have to come to a decision on how they're going to reshuffle and reorganize the NBA. But overall, adding two teams is going to do a lot more than people think. Some teams aren't going to be in the same division anymore. Some teams aren't going to be in the same conference anymore. And it's really going to change the landscape of the league for years to come. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below which two cities you think should get expansion teams in the NBA and then which of the franchises should move to the Eastern Conference if need be. Also, let me know how you would reorganize the divisions in the NBA because 
it's going to need some reshuffling, and I want to hear from you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you get into that giveaway. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.